do we need some light do we need some light it's all about the lighting isn't it in videos um right i stop worrying about how i look man and stop worrying about how i feel when i make videos because it doesn't matter okay as long as i'm happy enough and content up in my head i'm not worried what anyone else thinks all right it's lunch time and we're having some easy peelers some easy peeler oranges which are from morocco and one of these all right now people have been saying about supporting companies with your dollar with your pound whatever your currency is your euro wherever you live in the world who contribute to the suffering and abuse of animals all right with some of the products they sell um, at the end of the day see if you if everyone voted with their money when they're purchasing a product um, for a vegan product if that's what they so desired then you know su supply demand situation isn't it and then the company's going to be pretty much forced to go with the flow on what the public want aren't they um, also like there's nothing wrong with doing that okay because again if you know if you're supporting cruelty death cruelty and buying animal products then they're obviously going to keep supplying that aren't they and also you mustn't forget okay people supporting independent companies out there who do make like raw juices um, vegan products as well let's not forget the people out there who are starting out purely vegan from an eth ethical point of view um, trying to make a difference they're standing alone and standing up for what's right um, so please support those products as well okay this video today is about it's about kind of doing what you can and what you think you need to do in influencing other people um, and, and, and making like change versus just kind of showing people what you're doing every day like um, DC my friend DC Durian Rider um, the, myself like we're putting up videos okay I'll put up a car video um, because at the end of the day I put up certain videos on my channel because I know they are never going to get hits like if I've got like X maps like 900 something subscribers coming up to right and I put like a car video up or something like that then it could go viral it could get a thousand plus hits or it might just get probably 40 hits now or something all right and then someone like durian rider who's got what's he coming up to now 175,000 subs here put a video up like that then he's probably going to get two three four thousand hits on that video okay now i'll tell you what okay you can agree or disagree with that all you want but it's still wrong because it's getting uh it's getting the message out there all right i'll tell you now i wish I wish four or five years ago, or what was four April two thousand eleven, I discovered Dan, Dan McDonald on YouTube. All right, he's what got me into the vegan lifestyle. Okay, but I now I wish, say, a few more years prior to that, I was watching a non-health vegan sports cycling channel. Um, say I was searching for cars or something. All right, engineering projects or polar bears or like nature or something like that all right and maybe the video okay was a bit of a troll video and at the end there was a message all right but that message caught my eye okay and i looked at that message and thought oh what's this website earthlings.com forks over knives or cowspiracy or vegan what's all that about and then actually took the time to look further and read the description and it opened up a completely whole new world to me you know do you know how much that can change someone's life do you know how much okay that typing in cycle in the Oregon coast USA changed my life because Dan McDonald came up standing up for something that he believes in all right with vegan diet fruits and vegetables all right to keep it in that kind of niche all right because everyone's got their little different different things of doing things all right so you can't tell me that putting up a car video is kind of going off track and I'm going to lose subscribers over that I tell you what if I lose subscribers over that I'm not really bothered because that could influence because those people aren't really keeping it real are they if you want to make a channel and keep it all full natty vegan showing what you're eating every day and not putting up content to try and capture other markets and that then that's entirely up to you but for me every now and again a bit like doing right with the shark videos or something I can see how it works now I can see how it works all right and i'm back on board with whoever i haven't got time and I, I i haven't really got the energy to 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 hate on people or to dislike what others are doing the guy's doing good man freely's doing good all right 
Everyone else out there doing what they're doing, they're doing good. You can't slay other people for doing what they're doing. We all serve a purpose in our experience and our journey, okay? We're all making a difference. And if 40 people plus, I mean, that's slowly going to grow, going to go up, all right? Just say out of 100, just say 200 views, all right, on that um, fastest cars in the world video, okay? One person, all right? One person changed their life or dug deeper versus what what else is going on in out in society what they're getting told okay money over health you know all the other bullshit some people are getting sold out there in the world okay that's got to be a good thing and also dc how many subs have you got on your channel man 40 60 i'm coming up to 900 subs probably soon to be a thousand maybe come the summer who knows you don't know man on youtube youtube kind of swings in funny ways right but i'll tell you what i worked hard for that thousand subs for what else i have to do with my daily work and just daily life stuff which i enjoy more than i used to because i just enjoy being alive you know again life doesn't always uh, go as smooth as you would but uh, as you'd like it but you just do your best you know i'm a happy chappy and I just kind of fit it in the best I can, like it's lunchtime now, I'm at work today and I'm just making a video like this, because it could help to change someone's lives, alright, and that's all I wanted to say, you don't know how, how you can change someone's life, you could be anywhere today, right, and like, influence somebody just because you're talking, alright, and that's another, another topic, man, how many people talk and share knowledge with each other um, anymore? They're quick enough to tell you to fuck off because you cut them up down the road or, you know, you're holding them up in traffic or people are getting angry for something perhaps they have been missold when they go shopping or something rather than keep calm about it and sort it out that route. They're quick enough to kind of blow up in that sort of situation, you know. People are quick, quick enough to get aggressive to someone because they've bumped into them in, in, in the shop or something, you know, or you know, just some bullshit like that, people are communicating on that kind of level, aren't they, but when it actually comes down to things that matter, all right, to helping other people, to being nice to other people, and generally like to lift up people every day with their well-being and being happy rather than unhappy and worrying about life and, you know, the fact that their life isn't going anywhere when it's all choice, isn't it, to actually make a, make a difference, you know, you've got to ask yourself, man, so there you go, let's wrap up today's video with do what you got to do. You never know who you're going to touch in whatever way, okay? Another day, another way. Ideas. My YouTube channel, man. People that are hating or talking about me. You know, what are you actually doing, man? To help and change other people and influence them, you know? I'm standing up for what's right. I'm sharing a good message. Because it's not a negative message, is it? Tell me otherwise, man. Alright? Can't help everyone not planning on to and i'm gonna win this on man racing gears are for racing legs and shoot animals with a camera not a gun peace and out man my festive 500 patch came through today cool rafa packaging really nice uh little coaster as you can see so another little randall gonna do this every year man if I can, if I'm able, it's a good uh, good incentive to get out there and put some uh, K's in the legs over the festive uh, period. So thanks, Rafa. See you later, people. Do what you got to do, eh? Do what you got to do.